Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to add new prefab. Double click on that. Uh, prefab is short for uh, prefabrication. Basically, all that means is that it's a built, it's a pre-built room. Uh, that's really all it is. We're looking for control room small. Click on that. Click OK. Doesn't really matter where you place it. Uh, use the hotkey R to rotate this so that the arrow that you see there is pointing towards the right. I'll explain why in a minute. Go ahead and left click to place. Go back to add new prefab. This time get hangar bay large. Left click on that. Press OK. And rotate it until using the same hotkey R. Rotate it until the arrow is pointing towards the left this time. Again, I'll explain why. Left click, place it. Okay, do you see what that happened? The reason we did that, the arrows indicate where the door is going to be placed, and there is one door for every prefab. Now, as you can see here, I have one door. When you overlay uh, two prefabs next to each other, you overlay it, and the arrows are pointing, uh, and the arrow points are pointing at each other. It's just going to leave the one door in the middle, and it's going to have the mm, the two rooms there w being connected with one door. That's that's all that means. Okay. So now we have our room, we have our little level. Now we're going to spruce it up a little bit, make it look more like a make it look more like a game. We're going to go to entities, go to add new entities, double click on that, go to sci-fi, go to furniture A and get equipment D. Click OK. We are going to place these at the end of the wall. We're going to make copies. Uh, you'll notice that this has a red background and the door had a green background. I'll explain those uh, in a minute. So we're just going to go to the walls you, using your arrows and your scroll wheel to zoom in and move around. We're going to place these at the end of the wall to make it look semi realistic. Gonna place another one and another one. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Don't worry about being too precise with this, don't be too nitpicky, but just make it uh, just make it perfect enough that it looks like it's actually attached to the wall. Okay. And right there. Okay. So, what do these color background means? You'll notice one of them says dynamic, <clears throat> and one of them says static. <clears throat> okay. Um, basically, all that means is one of them is interactable, that's dynamic, and another one is not. Basically, uh, one object the player can interact with, you can pick it up, you can throw it, you can do anything you want to. In this case, a door is interactable, because you, when you walk up to it, the door is going to open and you can walk through it. That's that's dynamic. Static means that you can't. It's just there. It's a permanent part of the level. The player can't do anything to it. You can't play around with it. It's just there. It's an immovable object. Okay. So now what we're going to do is add another entity. You'll notice that uh, we'll be placing a lot of entities in here. Um, that's also where you find your your characters, your AI, that sort of thing. We're going to go back to add new entity. This time we are looking for a generator because this is a, you know, going to be a basement. And uh, now this is dynamic. Well, we don't really want it as a dynamic because that won't seem very realistic. I mean, look how huge this piece of equipment is compared to the door. I mean, you would think that because of how huge it is, that it would be a lot heavy for a normal human being to lift it. Well, there is a way to change it. Uh, I'll explain that. First, we're going to rotate it until it's right there. We're going to place it right at the edge of the wall. Now, before you do, there's a hotkey Y. If you press Y, it's going to change the color from being dynamic to static. Green being dynamic, red being static, and we want static. So we're going to place it right about there. 
You know what? I don't like it there. Oops. We're going to click it up. We're going to rotate it, and we're going to put it at the back this time to make it, you know, because everything is on the walls. You know, I don't really want it like that. The great thing about this program is that if you don't like where you placed something, all you have to do is pick it back, you know, pick it back up again, which is great in case you make a mistake or you you know you make a horrible horrible error you can just pick it up and get rid of it you don't have to worry about closing it or anything like that um, now since we've gone this far let's go ahead and save our file you always want to get into a good habit of saving even when you add one barrel save it just save every time you do something new to it so this one I'm going to save as um, simple room toots. Alright, and it's saved. <clears throat> now, uh, for right now anyway, we are done with this room. Again, for right now, I don't really know. Maybe I'll change my mind later. Um, and feel free to to uh, to add in your own stuff here maybe you wanna maybe you do wanna add some stuff here you know what feel free go ahead and you know take this opportunity now just uh, use the techniques I'm showing you and add it to your own stuff if not we will continue on following along 